So I wanted to uh, shoot a new video series. Um, you all know that I'm trying to keep uh, all my content organized by what it is. And some of the uh, non-restoration related videos I dropped into my little uh, detour section. Uh, well, this is going to be a new uh, video series for me. Um, and this is going to be called Tool Time. Uh, and what I want to use my Tool Time videos for is... New tools, new gadgets, new things that I've gotten, um, either for current or upcoming restorations. So, uh, up for starters, uh, this stuff, um, I believe the brand name on it is Oyumaru or something, something similar to that. Um, it is actually a reusable molding compound. Um, I've also heard it uh, sold under the brand name Blue Stuff before. Um, and it was actually, it was pretty hard for me to find this. Um, I think this came out of uh, Japan. But uh, what this is, is uh, it's kind of plastic and you heat it up in uh, boiling water and that makes it malleable um, and you can press stuff into it and as this uh, cools, it will hold whatever the shape or whatever the indent of whatever you have uh, pressed into it is. Um, you can fold it over itself. You can layer one piece on top of the other. Um, and it's used for mold making. And I've got a couple things coming up where I'm going to try to do some casting, uh, some resin casting. And in the past, I've always done silicone molds for my resin casting. And uh, I've seen this used um, pretty successfully uh, by Dave over at Toy Ploy. And so I ordered some, and I'm going to give it a shot. I may try to make some of my own wheels and some other components um, that I need for a few restorations that I'm working on. So I got some blue stuff. Uh, I also found out that they make blue stuff in clear. So this was a two-pack. I got both of these together. Um, and I will put a link for where I ordered these in the video description. Um, but watch for that on an upcoming video. Also, kind of along the same line, um, I ordered some super fine Milliput. And Milliput, if you're not familiar with it, is uh, a two-part putty. Uh, it's kind of like Play-Doh, but uh, it's got two different kinds, uh, a blue and a white. And you take a little bit off of each one, you put them together, and work it, and then you can mold it, form it, shape it, and after about 24 hours, it sets up and it is solid. And so uh, I've got a couple uh, restorations upcoming where I have some some castings that are missing some pieces, um, and I'm going to try to use some milliput to recreate uh, sections of the castings that have broken off. Um, in order to support those, I'll probably end up needing to drill and add a little reinforcement. Um, and in order to do that, I ordered these, which these are some really super, super fine, hopefully you can see that, um, drill bits. And so uh, these are something I'm, I'm hoping to use. <laughs> Uh, I've got to figure out how this container works. I know these two pieces slide and the uh, the bits come out of the end here. Um, but these are really, really super tiny drill bits that I should be able to get some detailed work, um, some up-close stuff. So, uh, excited about that. And then uh, last but not least, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I also ordered some black nitrile gloves. Um, picked that little tip up from, uh, I think it was Matchbox Garage. Uh, as you've seen in my videos, my hands get absolutely rashed uh, from, I mean, the paint, the overspray, the strippers, everything. And uh, so I ordered some black nitrile gloves to protect my hands a little bit while I'm doing some of my restorations. And then last but not least, this is something I'm really super excited about. Uh, so this is another channel a YouTube channel that I follow called Hand Tool Rescue. Um, and this guy, if you enjoy restorations, uh, modifications, um, 
making old stuff look new again. Uh, Hand Tool Rescue is such an incredibly cool channel. And uh, about, I'd say probably about six months ago, um, he was doing a fundraiser and he was selling these little adjustable wrenches. Um, and this is something I believe that he originally made to help him do some of his restorations because a lot of older tools um, don't use a standard or metric size um, bolts or nuts and he needed a wrench that could take you know square nuts and odd size odd shape stuff apart and so he uh, made one of these originally and uh, now he makes them for sale you can actually purchase them help support his channel um, I enjoy everything that he does <coughs> and have really enjoyed watching um, his videos and so I wanted to kick him a few bucks, show my support, and uh, get one of these really incredible wrenches. This is solid steel all the way across here. Um, it's machined, tooled, uh, nice knurled brass um, adjustment knob in here. And then uh, you see the engraved hand tool rescue there. Um, super fine threads on this, so a lot of adjustment in there. And uh, it's just incredibly cool. Um, and I kind of, honestly, I kind of forgot about it because uh, the, the fundraiser ran so long ago. Um, and he does them periodically, so you kind of get your, your uh, funds into him. Uh, and then you wait until he has time to build enough and uh, get one out to you. So, as I said, I've been waiting about six, eight months. Um, when this came in the mail, I thought, oh, it's, you know, probably another Matchbox. Um, and then I picked it up and I was like, no, that's really, really heavy. Um, and it was my hand tool rescue wrench. So, uh, if you haven't heard of them, uh, go check out his channel. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Um, and that's going to do it for my first ever tool time episode. So, uh, let me know what you think. And, uh, if you got a neat tool or a neat gadget you want me to check out, uh, stick it in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all of our future updates here on Vintage Diecast Restoration.